This is about the dream that I had last night. I had to board a bus. But I did not get into the bus, rather I clinged onto the side rails. I could see the automatic doors of the bus getting shut from outside. For some time I could hold onto the bus, but after a few moments my hands were getting tired and I prayed for the bus to stop somewhere so that I can rest my hands. The bus did stop for some time, and then it started again. Again I cling to the side of the bus. In my dream I could see the bus overtaking another vehicle, and the moment it was overtaking the bus driver started to look somewhere else rather than concentrating on the road. Then suddenly when he realized that the bus is going off the road he tried to turn the bus, and the bus turned over and fell onto the other side throwing me over the bus. I thanked God that I was not on the other side of the bus otherwise I would have been crushed under the bus. When I got up, I could see the driver amazed at what has happened and I was telling him see how lucky I am. After this I realized that everyone in the bus died except me and the driver. After this the police came and they escorted me to the hospital. Please help me in interpreting this dream. In your dream, the bus represents a group or organization. This could be from work, school, church, a club, team sport, etc. In the dream you say you had to board the bus but hung on the outside. This shows this shows that you were either pressured into going along with the group or you actually had joined the group but did not agree with the group's purpose and or direction. By hanging on the outside, you maintain your separation while being with the group. Along the journey, the bus driver loses focus of direction and the bus crashes. This crash indicates something of a ruin for the group. In other words, something happens that causes trouble and or hardship for the group. Death means change, so all who die on the bus represent members of the group who goes under some kind of change because to the group's downturn. The leader hasn't changed and you haven't changed. Because you weren't completely into the group, you escape the trouble. Look over your life and see what group you are or have been associated with is going in a direction or has a purpose that you don't agree with. See how the group is changing because it has lost focus and you being on the outside edges allows you to stay out of the negativity. God bless. Thanks McCreeker for the great interpretation. The interpretation quite resembles the situation that I am in right now. It happened last January that I left my job. Since then I haven't picked a stable job yet. Now the situation that I am into is that I have joined a small company where I am not paid. But now that I have developed an application for them, probably they would pay me something once we acquire clients. So this situation quite represents that I was clinging on the side rails for the bus. Independently developed this application for the company, otherwise they would have shut down by now. Now as per the dream, I have a question. Should I be with this company which do promise of some future prospects? Or I should leave this company, as per the dream the leader will lose focus during the overtaking of another company. Once again, thanks McCreeker for the wonderful interpretation. Thank you for your feedback. It means a lot. I thank God for any ability to help others with dreams. To answer your question, as the dream indicates, if there is no change in the current circumstances regarding the company, there will be a crash. However, if something changes like a new leader comes along or perhaps you are more aggressive in demanding real pay for real work, and with that can get close to the leader and help keep him focused, the important thing to remember here is this, you've been warned of impending negative impact with a group. As you make choices based on this information, pay attention to your dreams. You will get a follow-up dream to let you know if you're on the right track. Once again, thanks for the feedback. God bless. Hello, McCreeker. Thanks for all your help. I again had a dream which goes like this. One of my friend called me to meet him at a specified location. I got out of my house and was driving to the said location. Then due to some traffic problems, I started driving on the pavement. Suddenly... I heard his voice and pulled the handbrakes and parked the car on the pavement itself. 
When I got out of my car, I saw the pavement ending just in front of me, and I was shocked to learn that I did not calculate the way in which the pavement ended. Then I went to meet my friend. He then asked me to drive in his car. I said, as my car is parked on the pavement, and it could be picked any time by the cops, let me take my car along with you. As I approached my car, I could see my car sliding off the pavement. I remembered that I have pulled the parking brakes. I got into the moving car and tried to pull the parking brakes. It got pulled till the end, still the car did not stop. I applied foot brakes, but I couldn't as the ignition was off. By this time, the car was on the road moving at an uncontrollable speed. However, I managed to turn the engine on and applied brakes. I thank God that it's under control, as I moved further and entered into a place full of construction sites. I saw a stray cow in front of me. I steered to save the cow, resulting one side of the car to get completely off the road, and there was a deep valley. Next was a very heroic act that I got out of the other side of the car and manually pulled the whole car out of there, scared by the whole incident. The next scene was that I was riding my bike, and I saw that some people have stopped at a crossing. I stopped my bike at the crossing, just missing the stop lines. Now I could see a huge truck reversing towards me, and it hit me and started to drag me and my bike along with it. I shouted, hit the truck, but nobody would hear me, and the truck won't stop. Finally, the truck stopped, and I could see my bike under the rear side of the truck, and then I started fighting with the truck driver to have crushed my bike. Then cops came, and he blamed me to have stopped ahead of the stop line, and then I had an argument with the cops as well. This is where I woke up. I am completely shaken with these kinds of dreams. Earlier, I never used to have dreams, and suddenly there are several dreams of accident. Averting accident kind of dreams. I do believe that there is some relation between our sixth sense and our unconscious mind. Memory. Please help me in interpreting this dream. Please do check my previous post if both these dreams are somehow related. Thanks a lot for your great help. Hello, Juba Matthew. I do believe the dreams are related in that they deal with crashes, accidents. In the first dream, the focus seemed to be on the group that you were loosely associated with. After reading about this dream, the attention is on why you do the things you do. In this dream, your friend represents an aspect of your conscious thinking. Consider his personality as you know it. Is he uptight, relaxed, honest, dishonest? Is he outgoing, reserved? The traits that you use to describe him are the very traits within your personality that the dream is referencing. If you remember the location you were to meet him, this could give you another clue as to your thinking process. This part of the dream shows that you have had a type of thinking that is causing you to act, move in a particular fashion. The car symbolizes your body. Roads represent your path in life. It is the direction you are taking at the moment. Here, your direction is decided by the friend part of yourself. You are so eager to get to your friend that you leave your car on the pavement. This is the same as your body being in a position where it is going somewhere, so to speak, and then stalling. In other words, it's almost like you dropped everything to consider this line of thinking that you have. Also, you are shocked that you didn't calculate the end of the pavement. You are just driving without regard to the end of the road. This indicates that you just pushed through life trying to get to where you're going, blinded to what lies ahead. The friend asks you to go in his car. This is saying that you would have to give up what you are currently doing in the body to direct it or use it in another manner. For example, a person might be a real partier, always looking for a good time. If this person decides to settle down and take on a responsible job or family, he would have to things differently. In your dream, you decide to go back to your car, keeping with your current methods, lifestyle, Cops in the dream represent discipline. You don't want to just abandon your car or you may end up forced to study your current position. When you find your car sliding, this shows how you see and feel the evidence of you losing control of your body. This could be losing self-control, not getting enough sleep, poor diet, etc. 
the brakes don't work without the engine. This is saying that you can't control or stop yourself unless your heart is in it. When you get motivated enough, you can make the choices to stop sliding. The bike that you are riding is also a symbol of your body. This time it is more of an independent, by yourself function of the body. You stop past the stop lines. As insignificant as it seems, you allowed yourself to go just over the line. In the big picture, this indicates that you may have a tendency to just step out of bounds, a little pushing the edges of the rules. The huge truck represents another group or organization. For this group to reverse and hit you, this is an example of a group going through past records and finding errors on your part. A tax audit is one example. Perhaps a company reviewing job performance. The arguments that come show the struggle that you are having with all of these things going on in your mind. Look again at your life and see how you may be neglecting your direction in life. It may be that you keep yourself so busy you do not see what you are doing to yourself until you get sick, anxious, frustrated, depressed, etc. You have had thoughts that could lead you out of that mindset, but justify to yourself why you have to keep on going. Pay attention to your body and find a way to make good, healthy choices for yourself. Ask yourself, what drives me to be a little reckless? I hope this gives you more clarity.